morning. If you are interested to find out how I succeeded to shape my Roman style column in the correct way according to the rules of entasis, I'll put the description below. Then you're in the right video. I made a tool which is for me suitable to work basically nearly alone this difficult task of giving a shape to a column uh, that it doesn't look uh, ugly in the end but has this nice curved line going to the top so I will show you my tool it's not the entire video about how to make the tool and everything I can upload another one but it is uh, just now how I use it and how efficient it is for our work so here's the tool it's made from steel I did not find any example on the internet showing me such a tool yet. I saw one picture of a wooden tool which was used by people in the Renaissance, uh, which was probably much more lightweight and easy to handle. Now I have time to do this one perfect, so uh, you see here, it's going through the top and it sits firm against the... the, the the outline on the column on top, which has a special name, which I just forgot now. And you can see here that we see the, the shape of the column is uh, according to this metal, to be finished. So wherever it's still touching now, wherever it's still touching now, my plaster, I will have to remove a little bit of it because we want to put the finishing layer of the plaster. And I'm putting markings here so that I can grind down a little bit of the mortar which we don't want to have as the final layer. We will use a special layer called titanium cement on top of all this to give it a glossy finish and very very hard. Now I make close-ups now of my tool so that you can understand uh, how it is built and how to copy it. Here is a, a round pipe which I put here on the on the torus upper part it's very convenient because it really fits well the shape of the the outline here of that curved line and I put the handle so that my helper can push it uh, forward when I need it to go forward and the same thing is up there there's also a handle like this I just added it it was just an idea to make it even better now this part here is, uh, is a metal which can slide down because the column may have a little difference in size. So some are one centimeter shorter or whatever or for any reason that torus is maybe higher. And then we can still here with stainless bolts give a little uh, final, uh, final measurement by lowering it so it will just sit right on that uh, curved line here in the bottom of the column. Now here, this short video just showing how this thing is supposed to work. You see here, you can see through. And this is what we will have to add still as a fine layer of plastering finishing. And this goes all the way down and you can see the space becomes much larger here, much larger and that is normal because on the bottom part, on the bottom third part of that column it should be nearly vertical. So here I carved away a lot of material still because I want that layer to be very consistent. So we have nearly one centimeter to add here. and. Uh, why when we rotate this tool slowly around the column base we can observe how much of the mortar still needs to be put so here i don't need to grind nothing anymore because uh, i have some areas which were too close to the blade and then the layer on top of this cement wouldn't be thick enough that happens i'll show you now the upper part of my tool 
which is of course not straight okay i need to remind everybody when you will look on the web link about entasis there's a very good video about it on youtube this line here is not just straight going from down there up there straight that would be too easy then i wouldn't have to make such a tool we would just have to take a, a water level and plaster this way but we need that very fine elliptic curve to go back to the top and for this this tool was done it was cut actually in a, in a long plate of steel to to give me that shape and the safety that even if we will be slowed down in our work by working this way my my first column is going to be uh, let's say most close to the rules which I want to reach and respect and then we can actually replicate replicate this column to all others which we will still do in the future because I have a plan to make a mold a cast of this first column to make it more easy for next time now this is an interesting part here of my entasis tool uh, probably many people have been in the past thinking about this way how to do it better i found only this solution till now so you see i have my rounded pipe which was nicely shaped in a special place to do that according to the diameter of the column and this this part is actually holding the entire blade very nicely uh, in the right distance towards the lower part of the column because that is defined of course that is not just like this we are making columns according to a certain size which then decide about the diameter and everything is connected this part here is just to hold it actually a little bit closer to to the to the shaft so that the upper part is uh, not uh, bangling around here is my handle again so having only one hand free and being very high up here i prefer to be careful so here you have this handle so i can actually you see i can push it slowly that's what we need we need it to, to move slowly and you can see here that it is moving i'll show you that thing in action also very soon when we do the final plaster but today i just wanted to spread the news we got a tool which is actually efficient enough to be shown on YouTube to other people who want to challenge, win that challenge to make a column. So here, very, very nicely, you see I cannot push the tool further, further on, the, on, the, on the capitals, lower part, yeah, I, I forgot the name, there's a special name for this thing, okay? And here, is no more space so here we will not have a lot of place to plaster but i don't want to touch that area it doesn't matter uh that that uh, is now perfect i just want it to be like this is going to guide the blade and here down you see there's a lot of material which we can add i mean relatively a lot i think just a few buckets will be enough now i'll make that tool move around all by myself don't need many people here today to do that help me and you see I have also bought this nice um, small um, magnetic water levels and when I when I do it correctly now I can't because my hands are not free I can uh, move my water level in a way that this this uh, air bubble of course goes in the middle so it will be showing me that my tool is straight too because we need to keep it vertical to make the shape really precise here you can see our little smart safety measure was just to put the rope around the head of the column holding that tool so that uh, it doesn't crash down because that's something which actually already happened once and my tool was a little bit bent so i was upset and i decided that we have to put a little rope too not too tight so you can still move your 
pull easy around the shaft even without the helper standing on top. Before I show a little bit how I'm just grinding and then upload this video, you can see my grinder is already waiting down there. My tool is in the right place to, to show me if there's anything too much on that cement shaft and here is my uh, little uh, my little water level which is uh, magnetic and another one down there they are so inexpensive I bought this for two dollars only and, and we can check up and down at the same time if we are working uh, the most vertical possible here are the markings I did already because this area is a little bit too, too bald still, too fat sticking out. So you see my blade here is still slightly touching, not much, but I just want it to be more easy for the worker to add the plaster and then we don't lose too much material after. I made many marks for the video already that you can really see that what I'm doing. Otherwise I can see of course a little few markings where it has to be done. I will just now show you how I'm grinding that stuff off the column. And basically uh, the system is explained how we do that. Check again. This is now better, and it's somehow better, but not enough. I need to do the whole thing again. I will still use my grinder is that rod. I will just do it from here for the video so you don't have to wait till I come back. enough space now. Now if you wonder why we are so meticulously working on the shape of that column, uh, going even into the kind of <coughs> millimeter level, compared to a lady who wants to fit in her clothing, she's going to look in the mirror, she wants her waistline to be in a way which she thinks is ideal. Now. That has nothing to do only with reasonable, it is just beauty. Now the beauty is a matter people can discuss about, 
but the same as a lady would be not happy about her shape, even if it's just like that more large on the waistline, this column is the same. It's kind of beautiful personality who wants to have the waistline in a special way. Sorry for that, you're going to have her. So if you are interested to know more about my Antasis tool, I'll upload a video later how it was done and what is the, the whole deal about it and the principle uh, to do it right. My dear, are you happy now? Yes. Okay. <laughs>